Imagine a world where every student has what they need to learn their best. No matter where they are, how close are we to this ideal? Let's find out. Digital equity is a major foundation for the future of education. With the continuing use of online and digital resources available to students and educators around the world, at home and at school, being sure that these resources and the access to these resources is done equitably, both in terms of the actual hardware and software, but also in terms of the training and the resources aligned to help support those to be able to acquire the skills with these tools. Digital equity is the condition in which individuals and communities have the information technology capacity that is needed for full participation in their society and their economy. Another important term here is digital inclusion. This is the activities that are necessary to ensure that all individuals have access to and the use of affordable information and communication technologies, such as reliable wireless and wired internet connections, internet-enabled devices, applications and online content designed to educate and encourage self-sufficiency, participation, and collaboration. This also includes the access to the training to support this, quality technical support, and their basic awareness to be able to measure and ensure online privacy and cybersecurity. Let's talk a little bit about digital transformation and digital equity and some of the technology trends that are coming down the pike. Let's remember that not all students start in the same place with their access to Wi-Fi and devices. So as technology continues to change and evolve, it's important to understand that students also need to have the learning support to help their learning change and evolve. Supporting students with this continual update of their skills to support different types of devices, the level of access that they've achieved, their comfortability using software is tremendously beneficial to helping support digital equity. It's important as we teach digital literacy and digital citizenship and many of these skills to support students learning with digital tools, it supports digital equity in the long term. As many jobs and future opportunities for students is highly dependent on the student's ability to adapt and have the knowledge of the tools and the technology to help them in future careers. If they don't have access to these things, they are not going to be able to be as successful. It's up to us to help provide additional access and the ability to achieve, even with widening gaps. And if we do not empower these users to have effective digital literacy skills, they will also not be able to advocate for themselves and promote the change that they need to see in their own community and society. There's a tremendous need to personalize education additionally to support digital equity. This will help support students for future challenges and understand their specific needs as we move forward. Let's discuss now some practical strategies for your school and classroom to advance digital equity. Integrate low and no tech solutions. Recognize that not all students have access to high speed internet connections. Be sure to be able to provide additional options for completing the same assignments in a low tech way. Be sure to incorporate a mix of tech and low tech solutions. Leverage community resources that provide devices and lend them such as a local library and encourage families to take advantage of these options. Partner with libraries and com community centers that provide free Wi-Fi and computer access. Adopt adaptable and flexible deadlines. Understand that some students may not have access to the necessary infrastructure of Wi-Fi or a connection at home or a consistent device to be able to use to be able to provide an assignment. This may impact their way of submitting the assignment to you in a timely manner. Promote digital literacy skills. Support students learning how to use technology efficiently and effectively and safely in the classroom. Teach them how to curate, manage, and review sources for credibility and effectiveness. Teach them how to utilize these skills in an advancing digital world. Create inclusive digital content. When designing digital content, be sure it is accessible by all students with a wide variety of accessibility and needs. Use tools and support can support. Use tools that support a wide range of student learning. Use tools and support that are adaptable and can support a wide range of diverse learners. This could include text-to-speech, 
or additional assistive technologies that are highly supportive to the students who need them. Let's talk a little bit about digital transformation and digital equity and some of the technology trends that are coming down the pike. Let's remember that not all students start in the same place with their access to Wi-Fi and devices. So as technology continues to change and evolve, it's important to understand that students also need to have the learning support to help their learning change and evolve. Supporting students with this continual update of their skills to support different types of devices, the level of access that they've achieved, their comfortability using software is tremendously beneficial to helping support digital equity. It's important as we teach digital literacy and digital citizenship and many of these skills to support students learning with digital tools, it supports digital equity in the long term. As many device, as many jobs and future opportunities for students is highly dependent on the students' ability to adapt and have the knowledge of the tools and the technology to help them in future careers. If they don't have access to these things, they are not going to be able to be as successful. It's up to us to help provide additional access and the ability to achieve, even with widening gaps. And if we do not empower these users to have effective digital literacy skills, they will also not be able to advocate for themselves and promote the change that they need to see in their own community and society. There's a tremendous need to personalize education additionally to support digital equity. This will help support students for future challenges and understand their specific needs as we move forward, supporting them with increased digital literacy, opportunities, education, and being sure that the infrastructure of schools, government, and businesses can support the continued growth of all with the use of digital tools and resources. Let's continue to keep this conversation going as it's tremendously valuable moving forward. So how can we support some goals moving forward? Accelerate and finalize projects that you have related to digital equity or become involved in your state and local government in response to digital equity. Organize meetings of stakeholders who have a valuable role to play in advancing digital equity. Continue to update broadband maps and coverage maps for internet access within communities if you have the capacity to do so. Develop, endorse, and distribute effective digital inclusion tools and practices that can be shared with others so that they can utilize them as well. As we close, I invite you to join with me in advocacy around the area of digital equity and to keep your mind open and aware around how this very impactful topic can impact many people moving forward. Support